Special thanks to Tylenol for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, new hair, who this? I feel like most of y'all, if not all of y'all, have probably never seen me with bangs before. So hi, hello, I have bangs, just trying something different with my hair. But I'm coming at you with like a little mini vlog. As you can see, it's already dark outside. It's like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening. And I wanted to do this little mini vlog of my evening because I am going to be essentially treating myself to a, a little bit of a cozy relaxation time to unwind time to myself just a little breather a little mental health de-stressor evening for myself i don't know if you guys have noticed from my recent vlogs but there's just been like a lot going on i've been very busy i've been even busier than what I've even shown in my vlogs, I feel like, and I've just been really stressed out. And um, if you guys saw the other vlog that I posted, I did a little spa day for Zaya because I definitely wanted to carve out some time to spend some quality time with her and give her that moment. But my fellow mamas out there, y'all know, you also have to carve out time just for yourself as well. And that is definitely one thing that I have been missing over the past like couple of months. So Zaya is at my parents' house for the evening and I'm just gonna take a couple of hours right now to myself. So this afternoon, I took some time to do my hair, which is kind of a little self-care thing for me. Again, I'm trying something new with this wig. I dyed this wig a slightly different color and I did the bangs and everything. So that was like a little moment. Um, if you guys are interested in details on this hair, I will probably post details and even like a little tutorial on my other socials. So be sure that you're following me everywhere else for that so yeah that is how i kind of started off my alone time today is just by doing my hair and i think it turned out pretty cute y'all have to comment down below and let me know what you think of like the bangs and the different vibe on me but then i spent my next chunk of alone time doing a little bit of shopping because that is one of my favorite hobbies and you know i like to treat myself that's kind of the vibe of today so i did pick up a few things for myself and i just wanted to show you guys what i got and the first thing that i got are these slippers <gasps> so cute they're furry all along the whole inside which is something I really look for in a slipper. And they're like pretty sturdy and like feel really high quality. Um, I have some other slippers that are more like slipper socks, but I needed a new pair of like hard bottom slippers because, you know, I may or may not wear these outside of the house. No promises there, but they're definitely super comfy. So I got those. And then kind of to go with the slippers, I ended up getting a full like cozy lounge pajama type outfit. So it's just this, um, I don't even know what you call this super fluffy cozy material that i'm sure you guys have been seeing everywhere I think. um i have maybe four pairs of lounge pants that are made out of this material but i don't have a sweater or a shirt so i thought this was perfect it's so freaking like ugh. this embodies how i want to feel this evening i just want to I just want to feel like this inside my soul, if that makes sense. So I got that and then I just got a pair of lounge like pajama pants. I already have these in a light gray color and they're so soft, but they're super lightweight. So I like these because it gives you the coziness without making you overheat, like especially if you're going to sleep in them. And so I just got them in like this black color since I already had gray and I thought that I could wear this together really this is like a complete fit right here let me go change let me try it on so y'all can see the vibes y'all when i say this is the coziest outfit i think i've ever put on my I like no cap <laughs> no exaggeration this is so uh every every piece of what i'm wearing right now is so insanely soft instant realization like I already feel the stress leaving my body from my feet to my pants to my, and my hair is done too. So it's like, I kind of feel kind of cute on top of it. Okay, okay, okay. No, but for real, it's amazing how much just little things like this can really make a difference in your overall like mood and state of mind. Like don't underestimate the power of a cozy sweater when you're feeling stressed. Maybe it's just cause I'm like a sensory person, but 
Mm. Okay, so besides the cozy outfit, I also picked up some lash extensions or like this little lash extension kit. This is a different kit that I haven't tried, but I have definitely done the DIY lashes before. I kind of flip flop back and forth between like actually going to get my lashes done versus just doing like a, a little DIY kit. Sometimes I just don't really enjoy having to go and get things done. It just depends on the mood that I'm in. Right now I'm more in the mood to just do it myself and just treat myself to it. DIY style so I thought I could do my lashes tonight as well while I have some alone time. So I got that and then I also picked up some groceries from a specialty store that I don't normally go to. Sometimes it's hard for me to find like the dairy free stuff that I like at regular stores. So today I went out of my way to go to the specialty store and get some specific groceries because I've been craving a specific thing and I'm gonna show you that and make that in a minute. But also while I was out, I stopped by the pharmacy and I picked up some Tylenol Extra Strength Cold and Flu. Obviously I'm getting all of my cozy, warm, like cold weather type stuff, stocking up on stuff like that. But also since the weather is getting colder, that also means that it is cold and flu season. So I like to be prepared and have, you know, what I need on hand so that I already have it when I need it. Because the worst thing is when you feel super sick and you don't have anything in your medicine cabinet and you have to go out and get something, especially like as a single mom, I'm sure other single moms and just, you know, parents in general, y'all can relate to just that feeling of like when you don't feel good and then you have to go run an errand on top of that. So I like to make sure that I'm stocked up um, while I'm already out, while I'm already at the pharmacy, while I'm thinking about it, while I'm thinking about cold weather and cold and flu season, might as well just grab something so that I have it. And I actually wanted to put y'all onto this in particular because this is the strongest cough, cold, and flu formula from Tylenol available without a prescription. So yeah, it's definitely cozy season, but it's also cold and flu season. And this is definitely a go-to for any cold and flu-like symptoms. But I just wanted to let you guys know in case you didn't know that you do have to ask your pharmacist for it because it is behind the counter, but you do not need a prescription. Non-prescription, but behind the counter. That's what you got to remember. And then just, yeah, definitely make sure that you guys are stocking up now while you're thinking about it so that you're not regretting it when you really need it. Be sure to use this product only as directed and be sure to also talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions. So yeah, I'm not sick right now, luckily, but again, I just like to keep this stuff on hand. So I'm just going to pop this in my closet and I'll be good to go for if I do end up needing it, hopefully. I don't, but I will be prepared if I do. I am gonna go put this away in my glam room for now. I don't think I'm going to do my lashes just yet. I'm actually hungry, so I kinda wanna eat first and show you guys my little recipe that I've been craving. It's not even really a recipe, it's super simple, but I've been craving this specific thing for like a week now. And it's such a specific thing for me because I have to specifically make it dairy free and you can't really order it like that from any restaurant, at least not any restaurant locally that I know of. By the way, excuse the random ladder and stuff in the background. I am in the middle of doing my Christmas decorations. So things are kind of only like halfway set up and I still have the ladder out because this is like a 12 foot tree and I need this big old ladder to reach the top. So yeah, if you see little random things in the background, it's not done yet. Stay tuned, stay tuned. As much as I love the holiday season and I love decorating for Christmas and all the like stuff that goes with that, that has also been a reason why I've been extra like stressed out and tired lately because the holiday season is just like, everything is just on 10 during the holidays because I have my regular work stuff, regular mom stuff, regular personal life stuff. And then on top of that, like there's an influx of everything because it's the holidays. It's like everything is just multiple and it's definitely been kind of messing with my anxiety and just my mood overall. I'm trying to like, you know, stay positive and just like enjoy the holiday season for what it is. But I just, I just, there's been tension, stress, anxiety, like I keep saying. So that's why it's important to take time like this 
That's why it's important to take breathers here and there. And that's what I'm trying to do now. A wise man once said, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So I'm just trying to refill my cup little by little, take my little two hours here, two hours there to try to refill my cup, you know? On that note, let me show you this meal that I'm about to make. Also, side note, I don't want this to come off as like me complaining and just being so negative. I feel like we all get stressed out sometimes. We all get anxious. We all have like bad mental health days. And I'm just trying to be real and honest with you guys. I know in a lot of my videos, it can just seem like I have my life so together and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And it's just so organized and it's so aesthetic and it's so this and it's so that. And that's not always the case. So, you know, every once in a while, I like to remind myself and remind y'all, like, it's okay to have moments when you're not at 110% and you just need to recognize those moments and do something about it. So that's my message to you guys. So the thing that I have been craving is tomato soup and grilled cheese, but I have to make it dairy free. So I went to a specialty store, like I said, natural grocers, I think. They sell like organic, vegan, like specialty stuff. And I found this tomato basil creamy soup and it's dairy free. So hopefully it's still good. I'm going to like kind of doctor it up a little bit and add some extra seasonings to it, I think. And then I got some brioche bread, specifically brioche bread. And I got some dairy free cheeses, dairy free provolone. And I also got dairy free Parmesan. And it's like, look at this. This is my first time seeing this. I've seen dairy free like pre-shredded Parmesan, but this is like a block of Parmesan. I've never seen this. So you can like shred it yourself. I'm, I'm curious about this, but I thought maybe if I shred some Parmesan on the top of my soup and then I make my brioche grilled cheese with my dairy free provolone and I dip the grilled cheese in the soup and like that's just cozy vibes, cozy season, cold weather. It's winter, it's Christmas. We got the Christmas trees up. I want the tomato soup, I want that. Bye. and I feel like I deserve it. So I'm really hoping that this turns out good because I have not tried this soup before. I've made this grilled cheese before, so I know at least that's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna use a little pot because this is just for me since I'm solo dolo this evening. It smells good, but it does look like it could use some extra seasoning. So maybe just a little bit of garlic, onion, salt and pepper. A little bit of onion powder. I haven't even tasted it, but I can just tell by smelling it and looking at it that I'll probably like it better with a little added seasoning. So onion, garlic, black pepper. I love black pepper. I put a lot in everything that I make. Probably a dash of salt. Just, I'm gonna do a little bit of salt because I don't know if it's already salty. Let me stir that up. Two slices of cheese. Oh, I almost forgot. I like to season the inside of my grilled cheese. A touch of salt. And I said I like black pepper. I wasn't lying. Boom. Turn the heat down, put the lid on it so the cheese can melt. Soup is looking good. And to drink, this is literally just pink lemonade, but I'm putting it in a wine glass because I'm fancy. Yes. Uh-oh, am I burning it? She's a little over toasted, but not quite burnt. Not quite burnt. Just extra brown. She'll be fine. Okay, let me taste this tomato soup to see if it needs any further seasoning. My grilled cheese is almost done. Mmm. That's good, just like it is. I'm probably burning my sandwich. <laughs> oh dang, I really burned the other side. <laughs> Too busy, you know, getting excited about the soup. Look, oh, I'm still gonna eat it. Oh well, you just scrape off the burnt part. <laughs> She's 
little toasty, but she still looks good to me. And this looks really good. Mm, oh my God, I've been craving this exact meal for so long. I almost forgot to try my um, Parmesan. It smells like Parmesan. Mm, kind of. It kind of has that weird vegan smell, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is what I like to do in my free time. Try new vegan cheeses. I'm just gonna grate a little bit so I can taste it before I put it on my soup. It tastes like Parmesan, but it has a really sour, there's an added sourness to it that I don't love, but it does taste, I don't know. Eh, I don't think I'm gonna put it on my soup. I can maybe see myself using it in certain ways, but I don't think I'm gonna put it on my soup. Mm. It's, it's a 50-50 for me. I am going to sit on the couch, get comfy, cozy. I got a cozy blanket here, I have my holiday pillows. Setting the vibes, setting, look at the vibes. Just look at the vibes right now. Look at the vibes I have created for myself. I am going to be comfortable on the couch. Normally, when Zaya is around, we don't really encourage eating on the couch for obvious reasons, especially not red tomato soup. But since I'm grown and I'm here by myself right now, I can do that. I mean, I feel like this would be a good time to like watch a movie, get caught up on shows, like, watch something on TV, but fun fact, I'm really not a big TV person. I just really don't ever watch movies or shows or like really even anything on Netflix or anything like that. I don't know why. It's not my preferred media to consume. So I just, I just don't really watch a lot of TV or movies. What type of media I do consume is social media, specifically TikTok these days. So I'm probably just gonna watch some TikToks and do a little bit of scrolling, a bit of peaceful scrolling while I eat this delicious meal. Well, let's do a taste test first of all. Grilled cheese, you gotta dunk it. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it. Mmm, mmm. I have not tried this brand of bread before. This is so good even though I burnt it kind of. Mmm. When you've been craving something and it just suits the weather, it's like chilly outside. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. That meal really hit the spot. It really touched my soul in a really powerful way. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn the fireplace on, you know, amp up the cozy vibes. We've got the Christmas lights. It's cold outside actually now, kind of chilly. It's probably like, I mean, cold for my Texas standards. It is 53 degrees to be exact outside. So authentic cozy vibes, okay. But I'm gonna turn the fireplace on because this will be first time lighting the fireplace this winter, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> There it goes. Sometimes self-care is about romanticizing your life. Do I 100% need the fireplace on right now? No, but I want it on. It's helping with the vibe, okay? It's all about the vibe. Mm, what is that? Turn the lights down low. Mm -hmm. Vibes. Okay, so I already scrolled on my phone for a good amount of time. I'm going to now do something a little bit more wholesome. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, meaningful. I have this journal that Sadie got for me a while back and I've been really wanting to like actually work through it. It has like prompts and questions and stuff. Um, and I've made very little progress with actually writing in this journal, so. While I have this quiet time, I think it would be nice to actually write in this journal. And it's a lot of like really positive prompts to like help you feel good about yourself. So I feel like this will be good for my mental health right now to do some positive journaling, as corny as it might sound. Stuff like this is really helpful, at least for me when I'm feeling anxious or anything like that. So I'm gonna do this for a little bit and then we'll see if I feel like doing my lash extensions, or maybe I'll do like a face mask or something. Some type of self-care 
I mean, I kind of feel like I already did a lot by styling my hair earlier. <laughs> Normally I don't do like the full shebang in one day as far as like hair, skin, lashes, this, that, cause then it kind of turns into like a job. Like it's not really relaxing, but I do want my lashes on. So we'll see. just made another grilled cheese sandwich so I'm going to eat this and then I'm gonna do my lashes a little cookie dough bite for the road also from the specialty food store that I went to today treat yourself Ooh, wow. I haven't tried this one this one's sweet and salty let's see mmm Okay, now I'm going to do my little DIY lash extensions while continuing to watch TikToks at the same time. And that'll probably be it. It's getting kind of late and a good form of self-care is to actually get a good night's sleep. So I think I'm gonna try and go to sleep at a decent time as well. So after I do these lashes, I'm gonna go to bed. Here's what the full hair looks like, by the way. I feel like it really doesn't look as good as it could because I don't have like full glam. And also I cut it myself and I don't know what I'm doing. And also I know a lot of people don't like when I wear blonde that's like really close to my skin tone because they're like, it's too light, it's too light for your skin tone, it's washing you out. But like, I like the washed out look, I don't know. I like it like that on purpose. I don't know, with the bangs for some reason, I like it better when it's like pulled back and it's like just the bangs. Ponytail, oh, but my, my real hair is showing in the back. Like a ponytail or like half up, half down how I had it with just the bang pieces hanging down. I feel like that suits me better than having all the hair. A little bit more of a side swoop. Okay, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's put these lashes on. Also, y'all gotta let me know how you feel about like these little mini vlog format that I'm doing. I mean, that's kind of what my vlogs are anyway, just kind of just chilling, living my life. But this is really like just chilling, living my, my life. So let me know if you like the vibes. <laughs> I can do more of these, I guess, like little, here's just what I did in this little chunk of my day. Like not, cause a lot of times I try to show my whole day or my whole week or, you know, the whole process of something that I'm doing, but like I can just do mini vlogs too of like just little smaller chunks of time, if that makes sense. So let me know if y'all like this and I can do more of them. Hmm. So the lashes that these came with, they came with short and medium, but not long. I think I might have some long ones in my drawer to add in. And it came with the glue and the remover. So I'm just gonna stick these on real quick. Hopefully they work well. I haven't tried this brand before, but it's gonna be really nice to wake up tomorrow and have my hair done, cause I'm keeping this wig on, have my lashes done, feel refreshed and rejuvenated from this evening and be able to go into my work day and my meetings and stuff just feeling a little bit more human because <laughs> Like when you're just on go mode and you're just, everything is so rushed and everything is just too much going on. And it's like, you don't even have time to do your hair. You don't even have time to look presentable. You're just like, that's how I've been feeling lately. Like it's just a snowball effect of like, I'm just barely trying to keep up what I'm doing. And I'm kind of letting myself go. And then that doesn't make you feel very good. Like I find it hard to be productive when I don't feel good in my own body. You know what I mean? Like I look a mess, I feel a mess it's hard for me to be productive. So I'm excited to wake up tomorrow and feel a little bit more put together. I do think that beauty treatments and stuff are a form of self care. Cause like when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you're more productive and you're just happier, right? Right? <laughs> Doki lashes are on. I think they look cute and natural. Um, I ended up just using only the actual lashes that came in the pack. So a short and a medium length little set. So they're like real natural looking and I think it's cute. Yeah, that's really it for me tonight. I am going to 
get ready for bed and go to bed try to get a good night's sleep i haven't been sleeping well honestly the past few years of my life <laughs> but um on a serious note i hope that if any of you guys are feeling the same way that i've been feeling you know stressed out anxious whatever it is i hope that you can find like just a little tiny pocket of time to do something for yourself to help yourself unwind, de-stress, relax. I hope that y'all get an opportunity to do that. This was nice for me to just have this little evening to myself, nothing crazy, but I think it helped and I'm ready to wake up tomorrow feeling a little bit better. Thanks again to Tylenol for sponsoring this video.